Welcome back, and I hope you have enjoyed the day. Uh, DEF CON is always such an amazing experience. Today was a lot more lively, I hope you all agree, than yesterday. Yesterday was a lot of facts, a lot of a, a explanation how things work. Today, I, I really enjoyed when you are in a Discord and you have first one, two, three typing, and then after that, many typing at the same time. That means you have a lively, lively conversation. Uh, as a uh, number of places you see, we already posted that uh, we are going to facilitate the follow up conversation, follow up open and record it on the record round tables so that we can continue those heated topics because that is a conversation we really need to happen. And we have a controversies. Also, there were talks today where, uh, as I said in the opening remarks, uh, ideas which are generally not accepted or even rejected by security committee. People still want to think that these uh, ideas might be possible in the future and ask for comments. This is our opportunity as a community to help to inform and educate, explain why things are not possible, what are things which are possible, what are the things which make it impossible, so that we understand exactly what are the reasons why things cannot happen the way some people want them to happen. Now, before I go to wrap up today, I want to thank you all from the side of, of uh, uh, our organization who made it possible. Margaret McAlpin has been doing all day yesterday and today. Moderation help you guys around, uh, try to facilitate conversations, but most importantly, do the moderation because we are actually legally obliged to do a moderation of all our channels. Dan has been yesterday helping the movie night, doing all the questionnaires, all of that, helping a lot. Thank you. Behind the scenes, Mary, who has been helping and do the, the uh, introduction of the speakers. She's in California. Uh, thank you, Mary. We couldn't have done it without you. And Andrew, Andrew is behind the uh, camera organizing everything. Dan, uh, Maggie, do you want to have a Yeah, and also our intern, Willa, thank you for everything. And, and also Mary literally can't be helped and uh, thanked enough times for all her help. So I want to give her like three more shout outs there. And then Dan? Yeah, you know, it really, to be honest, uh, you know, we wish that uh, Matt uh, Blaze had been here, but man, he spends a lot of time behind the scenes. There's so many calls that go on week after week, and uh, it's just great there. Remember to continue to, uh, you know, follow us uh, on at Election in Tech. We still got uh, plenty of uh, swag and such, so you can go out there and uh, commemorate your experience that way. You know, we look forward to uh, hosting the uh, follow-up uh, uh, roundtables and discussions. I know there was a few times a day I'm like, wow, what? And then uh, even, even being part of it. So, uh, you know, it's really all about having those conversations. Thank you, Hari. And by the way, if it wasn't for Hari and all of his guidance and hard work and that, you know, you're, you're just phenomenal, man. It's understated what you do for us. And so thank you, Hari for everything that you did. Thank you. So I haven't checked at all what was today's statistics. I, I looked about five hours ago. We were combined over 2,000 viewers, combined over Twitch and YouTube for yesterday's content. I have no idea what the content numbers are for today. And also, since we are in asymmetric nature, this is only the beginning, there, because the content is going to be out there. We will have a lot more viewers during the next week. Already now, with the two, over 2,000 viewers for yesterday's content, we couldn't have fit that many people to any of the rooms we had in, in Las Vegas. So by that count already, this is a bigger success than any of the previous three years. By how many? And thank you for all participating in and uh, in, 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 uh, wanting to learn. We are here to help. We are here to educate. We are here to inform. Uh, not, if you wouldn't be there, you could have been anywhere else in the world watching anything else. You decide to watch us. That's what is making our life worthwhile because that's why we are doing this. As I said before, uh, today's presentation as well as yesterday's presentation, I'm so happy about the lively and even a little bit emotional conversation we had online. 
I'm already happy seeing the massive flow of emails in essays or about commentary, how these things should be concerned and you know what to think about. I'm so happy. Please keep them on going. Every single email you send, every single essay you send, following whether you want to be quoted or be anonymous, you you quoted with name or tag or be anonymous, everything will be honored. Keep those things to keep on coming. We are hoping to compile the report in give or take a month from now because we want also people to have a time to write. And also there is a there was a research challenge of the data set. Take a look what those 14 million records tell to you. Please let know there's no contribution too small because everybody finds the different gold nuggets. So uh, please send whatever you have seen. We will distill it down and make the important notifications now. We will still keep on going tomorrow. So tomorrow is going to be not any more speaker track, but we will be in Discord. <coughs> please participate if you have ideas. In every single DEFCON, some of the most exciting things happen on Sunday. And I bet you are going to surprise me. Something is going to happen <laughs> tomorrow, and I have no idea what it is. So I'm excited and waiting for that. Now, as promised before, thanking for after thanking you all, we were saying we go to happy hour. And the happy hour in this case means that there is a legendary bar here in Quanticomics. We are physically doing this in Quantico. That's a legendary bar in every television series and movie. There's a place where FBI Academy and Marines go, get too drunk, a little bit have a feedback conversation with the fists, and everybody leaves happy. That bar actually does exist, but it has no, none of the movies or television series shows the outside of the inside of the bar. We are actually going to live stream because it's a, literally 10 minutes walk away. We are going to wrap up and we are going to walk to that bar. And you will see the interesting place there is. So, guys, come on here. Let's start the happy hey, hour. Hey, but so, hey, hey, Bahari, as part of the happy hour, we also have to thank Joel Charlotte of uh, Lovely Cyberbikes Foundation. Well, absolutely. I mean, this uh, tools. Oh, so this is the happiness. <laughs> and Matt, this you is the happiness. It? This is the work. Oh, yeah. Matt Blaze, too. Matt, Matt Blaze, too. Hey, come With on. us in spirit. Come to the, come come on. On the street. Come to the street. So we are streaming from there. We are going to change to when we start walking to that. This is another, these people are from the Sona Club. Actually, I think one person is actually even in the Sona. <laughs> That's awesome. So, so right now, uh, thank you for participating in DEFCON 28 Safe Mode. Thank you for participating in the uh, Voting Machine Hacking Village. Uh, we love you all. And as I've always said, DEFCON is not a conference. This is a family meeting of a large extended family. Dysfunctional, that makes the family real. And also the Cyberbytes Foundation, Brian, thank you for having us here because he is providing us the physical place we are. No, John, Jessica there. Hey. Matt, <laughs> Matt, Matt, Matt has been making sure that I always have something to drink and I, I don't drown. <laughs> so, <laughs> we love you all. And now let's start drinking. Cheers. 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 The sauna club, guys. Yeah, that's a sauna club. <laughs> so everyone's joining us, right? We're going. Yeah, we're going. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. I'm gonna go grab my. Uh, I'm gonna grab my thing and then I'll Are be done. Well, yeah.
Hey, Andrew, sorry about that. Hey, um, so are they, I didn't realize they were like posting anything. Your beer. Well, thank you, dear. Appreciate that. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> All right. So, how does this work? So, can you so, get right other there. people on here? There you are, dude. Let's go in here and take yeah. a look, man. So, yeah. let's you know. So we're on the phone. We're sitting here walking around having virtual happy hour. Look, man, we're we're on we're on live, dude. Oh man, that's cool. Yeah, you gotta show my command center. Yeah. yeah. Gotta help show the command center here. This is where I've been the whole time. It's great. Got my computer here. All my passwords for you to see. Yeah. And uh, the most important thing at this point, trying to make it feel like real DEF CON. There you go. All right. I, I, I hear Hari. <laughs> ja tästä lähtee, tuota lähtee feed, joka menee sitten sanoille ihmisille. Hey, it's, it's all finished to me at the end of the day, you know, hey. Hey, let's walk over. We'll see what's going on in the ICS village. What do you think about that? I mean, hey, it's all inclusive. Hari calls it a dysfunctional family. Let's just walk on down the way here. All right, dude. Hey, you can walk us through here. Yeah, absolutely. So here, let me tell you this. Yeah, man. All right, so we're in our in our new facility that we opened about eight months ago, right here at the Chronicle Cyber Hub. And then we're going to put a building in three times the size right next door. It's a $25 million advanced data analytics science center. We're going to call it Cube. And so let me see. You can kind of see that. And then this is what's going to be in the Cube. Hopefully you guys can see that. So anyways, we've got quite a bit going on here. And so we're very we're, thankful we're, that you're joining us. Yeah, we're going to go take them over and we're going to sit there and we're going to go show them, believe it or not, our, the lovely uh, ICS village in oh, that, so, huh? Can you see comments on there? 
Oh, we got a broadcast. I guess we're broadcasting. Yes. All right. Let's, hey, look. Here we are at the ICS Village, huh? Hello, everybody. Welcome to the ICS Village. All right. Why don't you guys give them a uh, tour real quick, wow, huh? Me. All right. I got you. I mean, you can well, always, except uh, I'm not supposed to cover the camera, right? So, all right. So here you go. There's the uh, Hack the Planet, right? So I think we had to tear a little bit of this down uh, already, but just a little bit behind the scenes of kind of how it's all been done, right? There's one camera. There's another camera. My understanding is, uh, well, those two are really for the wall, the ICS wall, which you have right there. Looks pretty good. It's been running all weekend, I think, quite well. Everyone can see that. Uh, I think a couple cameras went down on Howdy Neighbor uh, earlier today. So you see, uh, I think we've got a total of five cameras on there now. I'm not sure that they're all actually transmitting, but you can kind of see maybe a little bit closer here, a um, little closer view, Howdy Neighbor, and all the different challenges that are associated with that. And then, of course, all the uh, infrastructure to go with it, right? So um, took over our little conference room. No big deal. Looks awesome in here. And uh, I think it's been going pretty well from what I understand. So uh, a couple hundred participants in there, I think, today. So very quick view. That's uh, right. Whoop, and then now Dan's covering it. Oh, I got it uh, covered. Oh, there, there we go. go. Hey, All we're right. this way. Yeah, we're back. Quick view. Absolutely. Yeah. Showing the uh, camera feed too. Brian, you want to say hello with your lovely, uh, you know, saying hat on there, dude? Come on. Hello, DEF CON. I'm just waiting for a virtual happy hour to start here, but I'm starting early. So, Sounds good, man. That's about all I got. I'm tired. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Can you say hello? Hey, what's up, everybody? <laughs> the whole world. <laughs> whole world. Man, it's a lovely facility. It's right here. Uh, in Safford, Virginia, outside of Quantico. Uh, it's fairly, uh, you know, it's an amazing facility. Just, uh, you know, can't say enough about the hospitality we've had. You know, with being in safe mode, making the best out of the situation. We really wish we were there with uh, all the other, a couple thousand members of our uh, dysfunctional family. <laughs> Kolmekymmentä kaksi tuhatta vierasta, josta on noin neljätoista tuhatta käyvi fyysisesti meidän tilossa. Neljätoista tuhatta ihmistä kolmessa päivässä. Time for us to like, you know, there you go. Pop crawl, yeah! Def con! Go Grim! Grim! The best, best company ever! Join us. <laughs> so if they want to join you, where, where can they join you? Uh, here, I guess. Grim grim.com slash co or something i don't know just type in grim <laughs> we're everywhere all right Harvey, we're ready to go we're ready to go let's go let's do it man <laughs> we're gonna leave this facility behind hey <laughs> Harry forgets we're not all finished i have no idea what he's saying right now Sander for you, Hari. <laughs> hey, it's Hello to the uh, Sonic Club. What do you think? Hey. 
So I have, I actually have a Finnish sauna club. This is actually going now. It's Finnish sauna club, and they're meeting on my mobile phone. So they are just going to walk. I was just saying, please join us in Twitch and YouTube, so I can also be more caring. All right, all right, let's go. Do you want to take it here? Yeah. Uh, hey, we're making this up as we go along. It's half the fun, right? It's a Saturday night. We've got nothing better to do. All right. So next we are going to the Global Laurel where they have, in the same building, they have the legendary embassy, the Marine Embassy uh, Cigar Club. So they are the same building. But we are going to go to the, uh, the Bob side. So Bob Crawl it is. And during the time of coronavirus, this is an unusual street. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. All right, Matt. You, we're ready to roll. So as you look in the background here, you get to see this beautiful facility we've been in all day. And if you have the opportunity, you get to sit there and spend time at the Wood Spring Inn. Um, if you use the um, uh, Cyber Bikes Foundation code, it's only $51 a night. Not sure I wouldn't want to stay in a place that's $51 a night in Vegas. Some of you probably have before. There that is. And now here is the uh, facility for the Cyber Hub Institute. And uh, this is the bad boy truck that we're going to take us over. And uh, I'm going to put it over Hari. You get a All broadcast, right. man. You're going to take us along the so, way here, dude. So now I'm two phones and one glass. I'm out of hands. So we are now leaving this happy, gray, unmarked building <laughs> where we have been spending and running the operations and moving towards Global Laurel, the legendary bar, which is literally 10 minutes walk away. But to save your time, we are going to take this uh, with the truck. Big, big truck. This is Virginia. Nobody has anything else than big trucks. <laughs> <laughs> Are you getting are you getting questions or no? So the driving was hard and it's Yeah, we are driving towards All right, so we are arriving towards the Global Laurel. We have this uh, wonderful uh, Quantico Cyber, uh, no, Cyber, Quantico uh, Commercial Center logo. My joke about the logo is that you, you know it's Marines because they always need to have something looking like a heavy machine gun in everything. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's, uh, you know, Marines. We are also driven by ex-Marines, so. <laughs> ex-Navy officers. Oh, you're ex-Navy officers, so Matthew used to be in Navy, sorry. Sorry for my insult. <laughs> <laughs> so now we are arriving to Global Railroad. That's what actually the place looks like. It looks like a church. So you wouldn't actually guess that it is a, yeah. Oh, that's a great place. It's a great place. This is my favorite place in the whole Quantico, also whole Virginia, I would say. And it literally, the place looks like a church. Um, it's a holy place. They have a good beer. <laughs> and some good whiskey. And also 
on the other side, good, um, good cigars. Now it's time to for a moment put our masks on. You put your mask on. Here, Hari, and then uh, I will put my mask on. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, you're the DJ here. Uh, not bad. We're giving over the rights for a little bit to you, my friend. Okay, it's good. So, so this is what the actual place you have heard. Hey, welcome to the Globe and Laurel, man. This is pretty, uh, pretty exciting times, man. <laughs> this is a uh, Hari's favorite place. So uh, when you come to Stafford, you'll be a part of it. You know, walking into a place, uh, I always wanted to as a kid to go into the bank with a mask, but uh, in today's world, <laughs> we have to uh, we have to make sure that we uh, pro practice in the safe mode. And this place actually is a nice hotel for all practical reasons. Hey, Hari. We already have the, uh, the police officer here at the door. On. Uh, by the way, we're gonna walk over here to the wall here. And, uh, you know, you'll notice some of these people. You see, you have a uh, man. Pretty spectacular. I think that was Ollie North there. It's phenomenal. Continue on down. And we're walking into the main room. If you look here, this whole top here has all kinds of badges from police across the uh, it's a country here. All right, why don't you explain this room? All right. So we are in a club in Loro, which is next to where we have been before. So this is the legendary bar room. Uh, the all the logos of the batches in the wall are actual uh, police. Police uh, units. Hold on a second. It's always fun here. But what a great place, man. History. I feel like I could be a movie star here tonight. Who should I be tonight, Hari? What? If I'm going to be a movie star tonight, who should I be? I don't know. John Wayne. I could be John Wayne. Uh, I think they took down a statue at John Wayne Airport. I'm not sure how that works in Orange County. Yeah, me, Go back uh, to being the Red Star Gremlin, place? I guess. Uh, no, I actually, well, no. Look with, uh, with uh, that to the cigar place. Want to show them the cigar yeah. lounge? Yeah, let's go with no. this. Yeah, here we go. You got to hope you got to you walk them over there for a second. I'll be with you. Yeah. All right. I got turned over. So they want me to show you the cigar lounge. Let me take you over there real quick. It's kind of a tap. Let me see if I can grab someone and give us the history of it. If they're around. Let's see. Every time that first game came out there, there's no consistency. We're good. All right. So, so we're friendly, really friendly people. Yeah. 
incredible. Okay. Yeah. So, well, she'll talk to she talk to all the folks. Come on, you know. So, hi, folks. This is the Embassy Cigar Lounge. Come by and see us. Yes. Thirty-nine eighty-seven Jefferson Davis Highway, Stafford, Virginia. Stafford, Virginia. Salute, right? Salute. All right. Yeah. I, I did. My right hand. <laughs> yeah, you know, what I'm saying, I, you know, I'm saying, being inappropriate. I don't know. <laughs> did it wrong. Did it correct. You know. One day I'll be better. So, <laughs> all right, guys. I mean, it's great cigars here, man. He, he got me a great one last night. So, um, tonight, you know, Hari hasn't gotten here, but hey, look, here's Hari. Hari. You, Hello. You. Yeah. So, this is the Embassy uh, Cigar Lounge. The name of Embassy obviously comes from the fact that U.S. Marines are the unit which is securing all American embassies around the world. Um, one of my favorite places to have a cigar, especially in the coronavirus time, because we have outdoor seating, wonderful beers from and, and drinks from the Club and Laura. Uh, I just was mentioning before when you saw the, all the emblems of the agencies, which are here in Quantico, but also the whole roof is a batches of different police forces. The country where I was born, Finland, has less actual police officers than number of batches in that, on that ceiling. So <laughs> that gives you an idea how many batches there are. Uh, those who don't know Quantico, what is the reputation? Quantico is a crossroads of US Marine Corps and a lot of other uh, men and women in armed services. This bar is the crossroads of Quantico. So basically everyone who has ever been working in the military, uh, at least once ends up here. So again, rest of our happy hour people are arriving. So we are starting to get the crowd together. All right. Look who's back. And everybody is, uh, you know, hopefully uh, at home. Uh, or wherever you are in the world, hoisting a beer and, uh, you know, practicing uh, safe distances. There you go. I now have my beer. Ari, there Cheers. We go. Cheers, man. Uh, by the way, again, you could be anywhere else in the world and you are joining us to the happy hour. Thank you for doing that. Thank you, DEFCON. Thank you, DEFCON. So, hey, Bryson on there, can you tell? Bryson, are you there? <laughs> I know Brian's here. He wants you to be here. Let's find out. All righty. Well, hey, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap the uh, broadcast here now that you've gotten over here at the Globe and Laurel. Thank you again. Uh, we'll be online tomorrow to uh, answer the uh, questions you've got within uh, Discord and such. So uh, we appreciate it. Thank you for all your support. Uh, go to electionintegritytfoundation.org. And uh, you can follow us there or at election in tag. Uh, again, appreciate Please everything you do. Guys, we are so poor. <laughs> but there was Maggie, one of the uh, co organizers in that. You'll uh, go out there and uh, see the link uh, to go buy a swag in that. So, you know, we can't do it without your uh, help and support. So, have a great evening.